Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. Today, as I think, we have prepared a really interesting report. So we have the direct comparison of the situation in Europe and the United States based on the statements of the European Central Bank and Christine Lagarde, based on the statements of the Jerome Powell. And we have shown uh, what problems uh, really could appear and already are appearing in European Union, despite of the really hawkish comments from the European Central Bank uh, this week, they have promised that they will intend to rise rate in the nearest couple of meetings, definitely. And as Christine Lagarde said, it will be more than the two rate changes, but less than the five changes. So uh, it means that two, three, four changes might be. Uh, how hawkish they will be, what, what uh, level they will change the rate, we will see. But right now, it's already uh, exists the problems that doesn't let European Central Bank to follow free policy of the rate change and just raising it for 75 base points every time. So uh, when you will read it, you will understand why we do not suggest big shifts and major changing of the tendency on your currency anytime soon. Any pullback here should be considered just as a retracement and we do not expect any changing of the trend. That makes us to keep 98 target below the parity uh, valid. And uh, well, currently we're just uh, watching where potentially the downside reversal might happen. Important remark to current analysis is uh, relates to the weekly chart. Although on a retail broker chart, you do not see that they have the rubber. But if you will take a look at the future price on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, you will see that we have the rubber on last week. So it means that this candle on the daily chart is the top of the bearish rubber on the weekly chart. And in general combination on the daily chart is very well, friendly for considering taking the short position. Take a look by yourself. On Friday, market wasn't able to hold above the consolidation. So it showing some kind of the washroom rinse, grabbing the stops above this top and return it back down. So it could be treated as a fake upside breakout of the consolidation. So market returns right back down. As we mentioned on the Friday, right above this consolidation, we also have strong confidence resistance and coming Fed decision within the two weeks. So for the bears, it's a really good combination with this performance with the vehicle grubber and existence of the confluence to consider a short position with the placing stop somewhere somewhere above the confluence. Because if downside action starts, it should at least lead market to the bottom of the consolidation, but usually when the market falls to break uh, consolidation up, it usually trying to break it down and existence of the OP target here just stands in the same direction. But also it uh, well suggests the downside action to the 90 even area that we have on the monthly chart. Not of course within the one week it will be lasting in, in time, but still the direction could be reestablished. So that's the common things on the um, big on, on the chart on a daily chart in the situation here so on the daily this area seems attractive to considering taking the short position and placing stop somewhere above the confluence at this moment on the four hour time frame chart take a look actually performance that we have suggested started so we said it might be the hand shoulders if market of course will have enough power to show extension here to complete this ABCD, but this, uh, well, with this current environment, it, it also absolutely doesn't exclude the chance of the failure. So if market just will start dropping below 99.50, 99 area, 
uh, and follow the hand, potential hand shoulders pattern. Uh, but uh, currently, it's important that market is bouncing down right from the neckline. On the hourly chart, you could see the price has completed the OP target, the target of this local head and shoulders that we have, right? So this ABCD is completed that we discussed, and right from this point that we discussed on Friday, start dropping. Now it is retesting the same natural support area. So here, as you can see, lots of chances for trading. But first of all, if we're speaking about the bulls, bulls could consider this level to make the decision of the possible taking the long position. Uh, very important driver will be the CPI report on Tuesday, because weak numbers we suggest on in August might be a bit weaker CPI or it will be in a, in a row with expectation just because, as we mentioned in the today's report, United States was able to reduce gasoline prices. Currently, the high season of the vacation is coming to an end. Demand for the gasoline is also declining. So that make, could make impact, taking into consideration that uh, energy takes big part on the compounded CPI numbers. The gas prices are not really high in the United States currently. They are rising, but not as in Europe. So that's why we suggest that really CPI could be low. Although, but we are not uh, pretending on absolute opinion. This is just some observations coming from the recent statistics. We are not calling it to make a bet on the CPI numbers. We're just telling that CPI might be the big driver for on, for the performance on the euro in the coming week. So weaker CPI suggests upper direction because it reduces chances for a 75 basis point move on the Fed and should support your uh, strong CPI higher than expected will be the pressure for the euro currency and in this case the hand shoulders could fail but still bulls could keep an eye on this level because there will also be a right arm of the hand and shoulders suggesting taking the long position it, it will not be needed to place stop too far so it will be enough to place it somewhere maybe below this area following the harmony of the two shoulders uh, on a, some halfway to the shoulder to, to the head uh, and uh, of course you need to keep an eye on the pace of the dropping so we sh you should not take the long position if you will see this type of action downside action should be great or something of this kind slow and choppy this will be much better that's what about the bulls for the bears it's also some options exist first of all since we have here a nice performance with the bearish engulfing um, and we have the vehicle grabber and we have the daily washing greens you could try to take the position right now with some minor pullback maybe market here will form some guardless tipple to sell or something of that sort with the placing stop above the daily conference area right there if you intend to trade it on the daily chart with possible downside continuation if you trade on the hourly chart well in this case you probably could place stop just above this area because this is also top of the weekly grabber alternatively you could do nothing and just wait for failure of the hand and shoulders passion and then try and take position uh, if uh, we recognize clear signs of the failure of this passion as markets dropping through the 1950 in this case it is possible to take the position lower but this is uh, suitable only for those who trade on the high time frame on the weekly on the daily because they have uh, deep standing targets if you trade on hourly chart hardly will take the position with a target that stands far below the lows on the daily chart uh, second the, uh, or third it will be the third already uh, you could of course combine both ways in 50 50 so take the some part of your position based on this performance and see what will happen. Move stops to the break even and see what will happen around this area. With this moving lower, you could add more to your position and be possessed for a downside breakout, especially if the CPI will be stronger than expected. So that's approximately the trading plan that we have on the coming week. That will make some updates and adjustments through the week as usual. Now with daily videos.